Hello, uh, my name is Melinda. I am an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay. Um, this is my first tutorial video, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, today we're going to do a really um, professional look. Um, I found a picture of it on Pinterest. If you aren't watching this from my blog, I will let you know that all the products I'm going to be using are Mary Kay, um, and I will leave a list of them um, in the comment section. Um, just so if you want to do this look, you can. Um, I'm also going to do a pretty in-depth um, foundation section of this. So, all right, well, let's get just get into it and get started. Um, so the first step for me is to do my concealer. Um, I use the lightest concealer that Mary Kay makes, which is Ivory One, um, and I feel like it really brightens my under eye area, um, and it also helps mask any acne or anything that's going on, because um, I do occasionally have those sorts of issues. Okay, so I just squeeze a little bit on and a little concealer goes a long way. So, I mean, I probably even have too much on right now. Um, but, okay. And you should use concealer when you want to conceal. Um, so, I am just putting this on underneath my eye. Um, and blending it in. We do have a concealer brush. Um... I just haven't purchased one for myself yet, because um, I, I think it's just easier to use my finger to blend. Yeah, I have way too much concealer on this side, so, and I'm not sure I have enough on this side, so I'm going to move some of it over with my fingers, uh, and that's just, I mean, I feel that when I have concealer on under my eyes, it makes me look less tired important. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit on my nose because I have a lot of redness on my nose that I definitely want to conceal. Good. Um, okay, so that looks fairly good. I know you at home who don't use concealer probably thinking that looks really strange, why did you just do that? Um, but we're going to put foundation on over it and it'll end up looking really, really natural. Um, it'll look natural and better than normal. <laughs> okay, so the next step is our liquid foundation. Um, again, I use Ivory One. Um, and I love our liquid foundation because it doesn't clog my pores. Um, depending on which formula you get, whether you get luminous or matte, which I use the matte because I have oily skin, um, it does have oil mattifiers in it, um, and the luminous actually has more moisturizers to help with, um, any dry skin issues. So, I love it. So, you just want to, um, put little dots on your face and then just blend them in. And you want to do it in an upward and outward motion because you never, ever, ever want to help gravity. So, we do have a liquid foundation brush, but I personally think that a lot of times when you use a brush, it's going to give you a darker application or a thicker application than what you can achieve by using your hands. So, um, oh, and if you weren't aware, foundation is actually a really important part of skincare because it protects your skin from the elements after you've done your basic skincare, your cleanser, moisturizer, anything else you choose to use. Um, I know we're not really talking about skincare right now, but the Mary Kay Night Solution is amazing. Um, it's a skin repairer. It has vitamin, a lot of vitamins in it, and 
You put it on before you go to bed, after you do your cleanser. Then you put your moisturizer on top of it. It's just really great. So my next step is going to be to use our powder foundation. Um, I actually use powder or ivory too in our powder. Um, I think it makes my skin tone look a little less pasty um, and, and more natural. Um, so the trick to powder foundation like ours is you take the container and flip it upside down and pat it a few times. You can even use your brush and then you just open it carefully, of course, and you'll have plenty of powder in your lid to put on your face. Um, and then I'm using our mineral foundation brush. Um, and you just swirl that around. And then to prevent getting a big glob of foundation from the brush, you can turn it upside down again and just pat it, pat the bottom of it. And that will help put it into the brush so you won't get like a giant amount of foundation all at once. And then you just kind of do this in a circular motion, starting at your nose and working your way outward. Um, a lot of people are probably wondering why I put more than one foundation on. Um, I suffered from terrible acne when I was in high school. And I realized just from trial and error that Wearing mineral powder and liquid really, really, really accentuated my skin. Like it made, it covered everything up and it looked really nice. Um, and then I found out that most people only do that for special occasions, but it's an, not, I wouldn't say all the time, because a lot of times I do just wear mineral um, powder if I'm doing a really bold lip or eye just to make myself look less made up, I guess. Um, but since I'm doing a really neutral eye and a pretty neutral lip today, I figured I would go ahead and do both. So, so when you're doing a lot of foundation, you really need to wear a blush or a bronzer. Um, for this look, I'm going to go with a blush today, um, but bronzer's fine too. Um, and I'm using the cream blush that Mary Kay makes um, in sheer bliss. Um, and I just put a little of that on my finger and do a couple of dabs on the apple of my cheek. And then just kind of rub it in a circular motion onto my cheeks. And you really, a little of this goes a long way. And I mean, that's true about all of Mary Kay's products. Which is one reason I really like them, being a college student on a budget. Um, it's much better for me to make a one-time purchase that's going to last me several months than to make a bunch of smaller purchases that eventually cost more over time. So, okay. So, now we have our blush on, we can move on to our eye makeup. So, for today, um, we're going to start with an eye primer. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't find it. Um, eye primer. Eye primer is probably my favorite cosmetic product uh, that isn't color. Just, it makes your eyeshadow last forever and ever. And, not really. It makes it last longer, though. Especially if you, if you have oily skin, like I do, and otherwise my, my eyeshadow is gone in a matter of minutes. Um, and then it also helps to um, really bring out the colors that you're putting on. So, I'm just putting this in. And I use my ring finger because it's actually the lightest touch you're capable of. You think it'd be your pinky actually, but no. So. Okay. 
Okay, so the next step we're going to do is um, a base color for our eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to use our, one of our cream eye colors in Beach Blonde. Um, it's a really neutral color, and I use it for a base for almost all of my eyeshadow looks, especially if they contain gold. So I'm going to put this on with my ring finger and blend it in. We do have a cream eyeshadow brush, but I feel like that makes the pigment in the cream shadow more um, more vibrant. It makes the entire coat more uh, thicker than what you'd get with your finger. Um, and since I'm not using this as part of the look, really, it's just a base, I don't want that. But if I were using one of the other cream colors, then I would use brush. Um, so we're going to go right into this. Um, my first step is going to be to use a brown. Um, you can use, we have a couple different options. We have our chocolate kiss, which is a pretty straight brown. It has a little bit of gold in it. Um, or we have truffle, which has copper and gold in it. Um, and I personally like to use truffle. Um, I think the copper really, um, accents my iris color, which is green. So you can use either one of those. Um, it's really up to you. But like I said, I am using truffle. So you want to picture your eye as having a little triangle right here. And you can almost see it um, like in shadow. And that's where you want this brown to go. You also want to put it in the corner here of your lid. So just all around there, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to do a lot of blending. So it's good just to get it on there, and then you can always fix it. I'm a huge prop proponent for fixing your mistakes when you make them with your makeup instead of just trying to be perfect because nobody is perfect when they put makeup on. Okay. Um, now that we have that, we're going to blend this over into our whole crease, this brown color. So just put that in your crease. And it, it might look a little dark at first, but when we add our gold to it, it won't be so dark. Um, next, we're going to smooth this out a little. You can use circular motions with your brush. And that'll help smooth things. Um, and then you're gonna, you really want the corner to be highly concentrated. So I'm just gonna keep dabbing my truffle color onto the corner to make it a very concentrated amount of color. So my next color that I'm going to use is going to be um, Gold Coast. So it's also a mineral color. And I'm going to put that in the corner over to the brown. And then you're just going to blend with your brush. So do a circular motion in your crease and where the two colors meet. And you're just kind of buffing out this paint by numbers look. That's what we tell people on Mary Kay. You know, if it looks like paint by numbers, don't worry, we're gonna blend it. So you may decide you want more gold. I'm actually gonna look at this in a mirror real quick to judge whether or not I think I have enough gold. Um, it's a little hard to tell on my camera right now, so. Okay, that looks, that looks good to me. Okay, so our last step is gonna be, it's gonna lighten the crease a little, and it's also going to act as a highlighter. Um, and I'm gonna use our color Crystalline, but you could use any white shade. Um, we also have like a color White Lily and Sweet Cream if you need something creamier. 
Um, so it's really just a personal preference, um, but I'm using crystalline. So you want to do this under your brow, just run the crystalline that way. And that's going to be act as a highlighter for the whole look. And then next, you want to run this in a circular motion to the top of your crease. And that's going to help lighten the look quite a bit. Make it seem less dramatic. Now, if you want a little high over here, so, and I'm also kind of tired, so I'm going to put some more crystal in here to kind of help get rid of some of that. And again here. Okay, so that is the basic eyeshadow look. And you may decide when you're done that you want to add more gold, because I do. Um, again, we're using Gold Coast here. So you just pat that on. And you can see that, you know, once you're really skilled at this look, it won't take you very long to do. And it only requires three colors, so it's it's a really nice look for every day. Um, and, I mean, finishing up is a piece of cake. We're going to use a black eyeliner and ultimate mascara in black. And then you're just going to line your bottom. I feel like I should have some music or something playing when I'm not talking. Just line that up. Um, and then you're going to line your top too. And I think this look looks good if you like connect the dots a little on the corner, like connect the lines at the outer corner of your eye. So. And my lines are never perfect. But if someone's close enough to you to, that they can tell that, then they're too close. Or if you want them that close, then they shouldn't care. That's my opinion. Um, although that was a little smudgy, so I'll go back and get that. But This is really hard because I'm using camera, which is a little delayed from what I'm actually doing in real life, and I mean, not super delayed, but and it's also just harder to see. Okay, and once you get that all lined, you close your eyeliner and use your ultimate mascara. Or whatever mascara you prefer. Lash lengthening might be really cool for this too. And then go ahead and do your bottoms. If you have really, really short bottom lashes, and you find that putting mascara on them is a problem, you can try doing it like this. It never works for me because I always have too much mascara on the end of my brush. But um, if you kind of wipe that off, you can put your mascara on that way and that might help you accentuate those bottom lashes more. Okay, and our last step is gonna be our lips today. Um, and I'm doing a, a fairly neutral lip, um, it's just kind of pink, but um, I like it and I think that it really goes with this eye look well. I've got to fix that, that eyeliner that I messed up. Um, so I'm going to use our oil-free eye makeup remover. If you don't have a makeup remover, I highly, highly suggest you invest in one. Um, we, one thing we talk about in Mary Kay is that um, 
dust mites and allergens and stuff can actually get trapped in your mascara and eyeliner, um, even when you have it on, so not necessarily in the tube, but just when you have it on. And if you aren't regularly taking your makeup off, then um, you're letting all those things around your eyes, like while you're sleeping, and they're there for you know, a day or two, um, and it can just cause a lot of infection. So taking the makeup off is really important. It's also really good when you mess up, like I did, because it's like a magic eraser. Look at that. That was so easy, and I didn't mess, have to mess up like my entire face fixing that one little problem. So, again, oil-free makeup remover. It's really cheap, it lasts forever, and it's amazing. So, now that I've done that, we'll move on to lips. Um, so my first step is to use a clear lip liner, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately about why I would use a clear lip liner, and the reason is I don't have an incredibly steady hand when it comes to lips because I used to not wear anything on my lips ever um, because I was afraid of every shade of lipstick and lip gloss that you can think of. Um, but then once I started doing Mary Kay, I could try a thousand different colors and find one that worked. And I've actually found several that I love. Um, so anyway, the point is, is I'm not as familiar lining my lips as I am my eyes. So if I use a colored lip liner, you'd be able to see my mess ups. But clear keeps the lipstick in place and allows me to mess up without people seeing it. Um, and, you know, it does the same job as a closed lip liner. Um, so the color I'm using today is Frosted Rose. Um, it's one of our classic shades. And I'm just putting it on my lips. And my last step is going to be to use lip gloss. And when you put lip gloss over a lipstick, you just want to do like a little heart shape on your lips. It's going to make them look fuller. Um, and also prevents them from being, wow, she has lip gloss on. Um, and the color I'm using, I think, accentuates the frosted rose. It accents it really well. Um, and it's pink luster. And it's almost the same color as my lips, actually, which is the lipstick is, too. So I'm just doing the middle of my lower lip. And the heart shape on the top. Alright, there we go. And I'm done. I'm ready for the day. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, let me know if you have any requests because I'd love to break them down and figure out how to do them with Mary Kay products. So have an awesome day.